So in this video I'm going to show you how to use your mobile phone, Android mobile phone, along with your laptop to do some really easy voice typing in Windows 7, 8, 10 and uh, 11. I created this feature with uh, three requirements. Uh, number one was that I wanted to wear no headset on my head. I don't want to have anything when uh, dictating my text. I wanted to have uh, easy and seamless integration. That means I just want to place my cursor into, for instance, Microsoft Word and I want to start typing. I don't want to fiddle with uh, any other boxes or windows or uh, applications. And number three, I wanted to control the whole process when I start the listening process and when I finish it. So I wanted to control it completely from my PC keyboard. So I just uh, want my mobile phone, I want to put it right next to my laptop and I want to forget about it completely. I want to control everything via my PC keyboard. So these were my three requirements. And now I'm going to show you how to actually use it in uh, practice. So first of all, you will need two applications. One is for Android. This is the Bohemicus for Android. You will find that uh, in uh, Google Play. And uh, also you can, eat, uh, you can read some additional information below in the description below this video. And then also you will need the Bohemicus uh, for PC, which we have uh, right here. So, first of all, you need to connect your mobile phone with your laptop or with your PC. This is done in two ways. You can either choose Wi-Fi or you can use uh, Bluetooth. Normally, I would prefer Bluetooth because it is a bit uh, faster and uh, it's swifter. It reacts more swiftly. But in this video, I'm going to show you the other option, the Wi-Fi, because not all PCs or laptops are equipped with a Bluetooth adapter. So in this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Wi-Fi option. So for this, uh, you will need, first of all, to launch Bohemicus in your Android phone and you would need to enable, enable Wi-Fi in your phone. That is very important. And second, uh, you would need to launch Bohemicus in your PC. And once Bohemicus in your PC is open, then please head for this language and settings and uh, select this option, this Wi-Fi option here. And now for the connection part, you would uh, click this scan button and this will scan all the devices uh, in the vicinity of your laptop. So let's click it, scan, as you can see, it will scan your surroundings and uh, then you can hear a beep from your mobile uh, phone. And uh, as you can see, this uh, Wi-Fi connected uh, sign will just appear on your mobile phone. This uh, is to confirm that your mobile phone has been connected to your PC. And also in your PC you will see this IP address which will appear automatically to confirm that your PC and laptop, that your PC and uh, mobile phone, sorry, are now uh, connected. Um, in case there is any problem and the connection process uh, does not succeed, then what you can do, you can take a look uh, at your mobile phone at the Bohemicus application and right here at the top uh, you can see the IP address of the mobile phone. So you would copy this uh, IP address into the box right here. So let's see, we have 192.168.1.1 and then you would just uh, click this connect button and it will connect automatically it will connect to your mobile phone and as you can see your mobile phone will beep again and again this wi-fi connected um, um, sign will appear on your mobile phone so now as you can see everything is connected so you can minimize bohemicus and you can go to your text editing application in this case, I have this word pad, but it can be anything. It can be Microsoft Word, or it can be your CAD tools such as Stratos or Memoq. It can be whatever. 
and you simply place your cursor into your target application so what pad in this case and you press on your PC keyboard you press the activation key in this case I have set the activation key to the tilde key which is on my keyboard right below the escape key but it can be uh, somewhere um, else and I'm going to talk about this a little bit later but now I'm going to show you how it actually works so you press the activation key tilde key in this case and you simply start dictating you can just let your mobile phone laying uh, next to your computer keyboard you can forget about it completely and you just press the activation key on your laptop or on your PC so let's try to dictate something pressing the tilde key this is some experimental text I would like to insert into this text editing application and as you can see it will be inserted in your text editing application uh, in this case it works with English but of course there are many languages uh, in the world Bohemicus works with some with more than 100 languages so if you want to set your language to something else <clears throat> let's say you would like to dictate something in Spanish so you would choose it from this menu here so we wanna select Spanish from Spain and you would click this set button when you click it Bohemicus will ask you if you want to set the language in your phone and you just click yes and it will set the language in your phone to the language you just uh, selected so we can go back and try the dictating process uh, again so starting dictation eso es una casa muy grande and as you can see it will insert it in Spanish uh, my Spanish really sucks but this is just for illustration and as you can see there are many languages so for instance uh, you could set it to something else um, I don't know maybe to my own language which is uh, Czech again you select it from the menu you click set you confirm you go back to your text editing application and you just uh, start um, dictating something. Toto je velmi krásný dům. And as you can see, this has been uh, transcribed into a uh, check. So, uh, as for the listening process, uh, you can activate it with your um, with your voice typing activation key, which is still there in this case but you can uh, set the uh, tilde key to something else because I know that on some keyboards the tilde key can be located somewhere completely different so if you don't like it you would go to this hotkeys tab and it's number 39 as you can see start voice start or stop voice input and you would just choose something else so for the sake of argument let's choose uh, control plus J so you would just uh, tick this control box and you would select the uh, J from the drop down menu now it's set you can also click save and then we can go to our text editing application and again this time I can start the listening process by pressing Ctrl plus J because I just set it up in the menu so Ctrl J uh, this is a really nice house but of course I am talking English but my language is set uh, to Czech so let's uh, dictate it again in uh, Czech Control plus J. This is a uh, Toto je velmi krásný dům. And as you can see, it will transcribe it into uh, Czech. So maybe uh, one another piece of information. You can start the listening process by your um, voice typing uh, activation key, which can be tilde or Control plus J, as we as I just uh, showed you and uh, as soon as you are done speaking you can press the activation key again to tell the program that you are finished speaking or you can simply stop speaking so and after some I think one second the program 
will assume that you are done speaking and will insert the converted speech into uh, your application. And uh, maybe one additional piece of information you would uh, perhaps find useful is again about the languages. So as you can see, as I've already shown you, you can uh, select your languages from this drop down menu and it will work very well with languages that are based on Roman uh, script. So this is for instance English or French, Spanish, Czech, most of European English is, uh, languages are based on Roman characters. But in case you would like to dictate in some other languages such as Thai or Japanese or Arabic, you would need to set the language directly in your phone. So you would just go uh, to settings and would just press uh, this settings uh, key here. And in settings, you would uh, you would select your respective uh, language. The exact process uh, is described in the article that I will link to in below in the description of um, this uh, video. So I think uh, this is all. This is how you can uh, voice type very easily in Windows using your mobile phone and your laptop, and with using no headset whatsoever and with controlling everything from your laptop. So thank you for watching and see you in another video.